Hey everyone, so today I'm gonna be doing the weekly reading for the sign of Leo. We have delusions, okay? Interesting first card to come out. So yeah, you can stay hold up in your mind, wishing, waiting, and wanting, or you can get up and make changes. Don't get lost in, in a fantasy world when you can create a reality that is much that is so much better. So someone is just like doing a lot of thinking about what they want for themselves, but not doing a lot of, you know, taking action. I just saw 111 on the camera, okay? So Someone's saying that instead of daydreaming or dreaming about the future that you want, take action to manifest that um, into your reality, okay? Um, there may be some things in your reality that you need to deal with to get that outcome that you want. This could also be somebody that's in your energy because we have learning here. So it says you are being led down the path of, of unlearning and relearning to make smarter decisions. As you navigate uncharted ground ahead, trade knowing for, for curiosity. We have patterns. Yeah, there's some type of repeating pattern. It's like wishing and wanting or, you know, for a better life or a different situation. Lessons being presented to you or to somebody in your energy so that a cycle can be broken, so that you can manifest better for yourself or so that they can manifest better for themselves. Um, give me one second so I can close this door. All right. But it says you're breaking free. So maybe you guys have finally um, broke free from some type of cycle here. Or you will be very soon. It says this new level of self-awareness will help you reclaim control over your life by identifying what is causing these fruitless patterns. You guys may have also been thinking that something was going to produce a certain result. And spirit was like trying to shoot that it was never going to be that. So for example, you guys could have been in a relationship with somebody who didn't even have the capability of being who you needed them to be or wanted them to be but you thought that they could be that person or they had like created this false image of themselves to you um and you were thinking that they could be that person or they the relationship could turn into what you wanted it to be and it just wasn't the case um but that doesn't have to be the the exact situation it, you know it's going to be different uh for all of you we have abundance here so it says your manifestations are about to start paying off abundantly you, you are long overdue for some great financial rewards and you are finally being rewarded so i feel like it's almost like spirit is saying like you saw through a you saw through an illusion you learned the lesson you are you're identifying the fruitless patterns like you're ide identifying the unhealthy cycles and you're breaking them and now you have some rewards coming in okay because we have secrecy yeah it's, so it possibly it, it doesn't have to be a romantic situation but there was definitely somebody in your life who, who they they weren't who they were trying to portray themselves to be or they weren't who you thought they were okay or they were hiding things from you. It says there's a situation or person that's not what it appears to be, but you will slowly start to uncover things that have been kept secret. Pay close attention to your surroundings. So somebody was playing you. Somebody was hiding things from you. Somebody was wearing a mask or they they have presented themselves. like They, like they could have catfished you. I just heard catfished. But it says you're going to work hard for something to find a way to bring your plans to completion with a rekindled love for the journey and worrying less about the end result. So Spirit says they want you to keep going because... There's things being worked out in your favor behind the scenes and they're sending you signs and you see those repeating numbers and those synchronicities and things like that. That's the divine trying to show you that they're working everything out for you um, behind the scenes. Uh, I definitely feel like you are, you started seeing things for what it was in a situation. Yes. Clarity right after that. You started seeing something for what it was. Your perspective shifted. Yes. Um, and I think that instead of repeating a cycle because as you run the risk of repeating the same story whether it's setting boundaries or fighting the curse to speak up for yourself it's time to do things differently so i feel like um some of you guys are so afraid to repeat a cycle maybe not with this same person but like maybe you guys feel like you keep meeting the same person in different bodies or something like that some of you guys are so afraid to meet that same person in another person or you're afraid to you just don't think this person is capable of change you're so scared of repeating a cycle that you've gotten to this point where you're kind of have like your walls up a little, maybe too much. It says, break down your walls. You're losing touch with the world and not giving yourself a chance to connect with other people. Learn to open up to others and accept those who are different, including you. So, yeah. Spirit says be careful of that being a little bit too clo closed off um, because of what you went through with, with somebody that was like being deceptive. Okay, let's do four more. Anything else? 
We have relocation. So some of you guys are focused on moving or you will be moving or relocating maybe to a different house or a different city, a different state, country, whatever. There's going to be some sort of change in your home, possibly moving into a new place. Get ready to explore your new environment. So you, so you guys are possibly working on being able to relocate. So you guys um, are very busy here or you will be very busy. Like maybe like trying to save up, you know, working a lot so you can save up money or it's just like a lot of things that got to a lot of different um, aspects of moving that you got to get sorted out or whatever. But it says expect to be busy. It might get difficult to re to balance your personal life and work. But if you cut out distractions, any and any necessary unnecessary drama, you'll handle it like a queen or king. Oh, we have reconciliation here. And old love answers will come back wanting to reconcile and rebuild. It may be worth hearing what they have to say, but it's up to you if you want to give them a second chance. What do they need to know about this person that's coming back around for reload, for reconciliation? New love. Your love life is about to take off. A new romantic offer, or even several offers are coming your way. Don't let the past hold you back. Embrace the new. So they could be saying, don't let this past person come back and maybe keep you from... Some of you guys are still very much stuck on this person, this one that was being deceptive. I see you like having more than one option in love, but there, this card literally says, don't let the past hold you back. So I don't know if that's saying like, don't let the, what you went through with this person keep you from, you know, make you guarded towards new people coming towards you or like them trying to get you back, distract you from new options. Or if they're saying that this person is actually ready to have something with you. Like it's now, it's, it's like right timing now for you and this person. They're ready to act right, whatever. And they're saying that you won't want to accept this now because of, you know, because of what happened in the past with this person. Give me one more on reconciliation and new love. We have regret. Stop worrying that you missed your chance. Not all is lost. Keep going. The best is yet to come. Take care of yourself as you continue your journey. Whatever was lost will come back around. See, I think this is that same person. <laughs> I know you guys hate to hear it, but they're saying, well, you think you lost, you, you see, cause it says whatever was lost will come back around. So this person is in regret. Tell me, give me another one. Or you're, let's see, we have protection. Trust that you are being divinely guided right now. There will be extra protection around you as you face uncertainty over the changes that are occurring in your life. What do they need to know about this, this person that was wearing this mask though? See, new birth. You're about to give birth to something new, your own business, a side hustle, a new approach to something, or perhaps a birth of a new baby. Whatever it is, enjoy your creation. Let's see. Okay, that's too many. Past person, past person, past person, whoever this person is that was wearing the mask, the unseen. So something has been going on with this person that was wearing this mask. Yes, yeah, as though life may seem uneventful to you, it doesn't mean things aren't happening behind the scenes while you rest. Trust the in the universe. So the, the universe has been handling this person. Just know this person has been going through their own lessons and they've been going through karma and they've been going through a lot of change. Um, definitely been going through karma for being deceptive. Um, it's almost like this person is coming back towards you in a new energy. I'm going to be honest with you. I wish I could tell you guys. You guys do have new offers coming in too because it says you have romantic offer or even several offers. So it could be more than one person coming towards you, new and old. But it's like almost like whoever's reading this is, you wanted something to happen with this certain person but it's almost like spirit was saying that what you wanted with them was not possible with who you were and who they were at the time and i think you guys were trying to make you guys were having a hard time coming to terms with that at the at, at some point but i saw the acceptance card when i was shuffling so you guys got to the point where you started accepting the situation for what it truly was not for what, because this person was playing games. I think this person was like trying to tell you like they were changing or they were doing this and they were doing that. And it was like this, and it was like that. And it wasn't any of those things. That may have been what they wanted and it may have been what you wanted, but they weren't that person at the time. They weren't capable of giving that to you at the time. So Spirit was saying it was necessary for you to kind of take a step back, surrender, trust in the universe, let them handle the situation, let them handle this person because something has been going on with this past person while you guys have been just focusing on you you've been being protected from whatever was going on with this person and um and we and i feel like you guys whatever this is something that you manifested you're going to receive some good news that will make you very happy answer the call when the time comes it will change your life for the better yeah the empress hmm give me one more 
jackpot. All I can say is that every whatever it is that you wanted, you're about to get it. Success, money, love, whatever it is you've been trying to achieve or trying to manifest, they're telling you to keep persevering because it's on its way to you. It says you're going to work hard for something to find a way to bring your plans to completion with a rekindled love for the journey. For some of you, it's a new house. Worrying less and worrying less about the end results. So some of you guys thought worrying like you guys were so like set on having like a certain outcome in a situation and looking a certain way but spirit says that they had a better plan in mind like you, what you really what you wanted wasn't realistic spirit was saying or it just wasn't realistic or the way that you were trying to go about having it wasn't realistic if that makes sense so all right um let's get some tarot so what else do they need to know about the situation Give me one second, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. I am momming and I'm trying to work at the same time. And it's a lot. <laughs> I apologize. All right. So we have the page of cups. Yeah. <laughs> you have like some type of new emotional beginning or even an apology coming in. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy in here. Death, Scorpio energy. Something is changing. Yeah, there's change coming. Six of Pentacles. You're about to get something balanced and reciprocal is coming in for you. Yep. Ten Confirmation, temperance, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, balance is being restored, or you're about to get, you're about to be in something very balanced, very mutual, very reciprocal. You're giving the same way that they're giving. You are invested in the same way that they're investing. Um, clarify the page of cups. Yeah, the world. Clarify the death. The high priestess, Pisces energy, Libra energy with the world. I forgot to say that. There's a lot of, I'm telling you, major arcanas here. One, two, three, four, five. And five. Five is about change. Guys, it's crazy. Huge change is coming here. Wow. Well, hold on. I think I'm trying to sort this here. The high priestess and the death. It's like there's going to be an end to like some type of secrecy or silence. Talk about the six of pentacles, the five of cups. Somebody is regretful when it comes to, I feel like, not giving you an equal give and take. Talk about the temperance card, the magician. Yeah, there's a reconciliation manifesting. I remember reconciliation was underneath this card right here, which is underneath the five of cups. So somebody is regretful. Uh, what's the Six of Pentacles? The Hermit, Virgo Energy, and the Page of Swords. Okay, what's that do with the Six of Pentacles, though? The Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. What about Three of Pentacles? The King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag Energy, and the Four of Four of Pentacles, what? The Two of Wands. Planning. And four of swords. Somebody's doing a lot of... This is like the um, Sag reading I did earlier, kind of. Somebody's watching. They're doing a lot of contemplating. They're doing a lot of thinking. Um, I think they're thinking about, like, an equal give and take or, like, something like that. The four... Yeah. Settling down. They're being an equal give and take. They're maybe even trying to figure out how they can have this with you. It's like they're doing a lot of planning and they're doing a lot of... They're not speaking to you, but they're thinking about how they can give this to you. Or the best way to go about doing this, how to how to come back together with you. Um, what's that? King of Pentacles and the Star, the Eight of Swords, and the Ten of Wands. Somebody's very burdened. Seven of Swords. Somebody's burdened because I feel like they were hiding somebody else from you. It's like something else was going on. I, this person, pretty, I feel like put you in a third party situation. It's always that these days. Um. What, what else is important for the collective to know here? We have the Five of Pentacles and we have the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands, and the, it's like something's being left behind. 
to have a new successful beginning in another situation. A situation where someone felt like their needs weren't getting met anyways, or there wasn't enough there, there was lack there. Yeah, Knight of Wands and the Four of Cups. Somebody was being a player. It's almost like somebody, somebody's like abandoning the player lifestyle. It's like if they were focused on other people and ignoring you, it's like they want to abandon that lifestyle or they're kind of like growing. Like they feel like they're not their needs. It's like they don't feel fulfilled in that anymore. Like them being player and wishy-washy and fickle and sorry guys, I gotta see what's up with this. Right. I'm back. So you have the King of Cups, and we have the Page of Pentacles. The Nine of Wands, though, hmm, and the Nine of Swords. Hmm. This, there's a lot of conflicted energy here, y'all. It's something about the past that is causing conflict. It's almost like I feel like this person feels like they, they know that they've done a lot. But they feel like they've done too much. Or it's like, it's you. You thinking about everything that this person did to you. And not having a clue about whether or not you want to even do this with them again. Like there's like a lot of conflictedness and it's stemming from the past. So they're telling me to use this one specific deck. If I can find it. Where is that? It's right here. Yeah, vibe, a sense about something, listen to your intuition about, throw shade, being rude towards someone, not being liked by someone, insult, slick, disrespectful. Tell me more. Oh, having the power to influence, monitor your reputation, marketing, persona, persuader. persuader. Give me one more. Yeah, I think that what's going on here is that this person can feel that you are not not liking them too much yeah that's what this is this person can feel that you are angry at them or that you don't like them or that you feel like they did you dirty in some way like and this person it's almost like this person feels like you'll never forgive them i see them coming towards you with an apology or that's what they would like to do but it's like this energy of this person feeling like you're not going to forgive them for what they've done. It's like they can feel your anger and your resentment towards them or just like your not so great feelings towards them. Like there's something here. It's like this person wishes that they could change the perception of them that you have. And it says fear of missing out, fear of missing an opportunity, feeling pressured and choices. It's almost like this person just doesn't want to face you in this way too. Like they don't want to have to deal with you when you are mad at them or they know that you're going to tell them about themselves or something like that. It's like they want they want to know if you're feeling the same way. Yes. Simp. What about simp? Yes. What about that? Understanding. What about mood? Squad. What about squad? Turns. Ugh. And low key.
will do anything to win you over. Nice guy, girl syndrome, a full begging, groveling. You have the green light, girl, go for it. Extreme satisfaction, approval, extreme liking. What about low key turning squad? Shaking my head and do why? Why are they feeling dumb? See, I feel like this person, they have people around them that are telling them not to be a simp for you. Now, I know that's a more modern term, but it's like they have friends and family, like their circle of people. It's like this person wants to try to play it cool with you. And it's like the people around them are telling them to do this. Like, I don't know, like because they're the people around them told them to do this. Because we have squad, a clique of friends, be a team player, close friend, a group of friends, soul tribe. It's either family or friends told them to act like, th do something, be all about themselves, selfish traits, plot, pride, flashy, arrogance, insincere, and boasting. It's like somebody told this person not to show you too much that they liked you or something like that. Because it says to not announce something, to treat with little emphasis. It's like somebody's been like encouraging this person to come towards you with ego. And like when they come towards you, act like they don't like you as much as they do. Or like to not tell you everything or to act a little mysterious or kind of, ugh, it's toxic. Like to play games, they feel stupid for it now. But what is this here? This turnt energy. Ghosted. Whatever you had is over, left confused and wondering, disappearing, act no closure. So, did they go off and, yeah, they did something inconsiderate here. This card says drug. They, like, went off to do some drugs or drink or they slept with somebody. Drunk, excited, turnt. Whatever you had is over, left, confused, and wondering. They, like, ghosted you to go do something stupid here. They did something that was really selfish. What is, tell me more about turnt. Sipping tea. There's some type of gossip here. Yeah, listening to gossip. Like, they could have went to a party. They slept with somebody. They did something. They did some drugs. I don't know. But it says, careful who you listen to. Listen to constructive criticism. Listening to gossip. And somebody told them to do this. Bounce. What about bounce? On fleek. Okay. And point of view. What, what about point of view? Tendering. What about tendering? Sus. I'm telling you, you guys started realizing something about this person that... They were messing around with other people. Try a different approach. See? Looking for a match. Meeting new people. Why were they trying to use a different approach with you? Digitally observing. Keeps tabs. Staying connected. Stalking. A cowardice. Yeah. What about orbiting? Flatlining. It's like they did something stupid. Like to try to get you to chase them. Or like. They did something that changed the way that you looked at them. That's like the biggest thing in this reading. It's like somebody feels like you don't see them the same anymore. Like your, your perception of them is different. It's skewed. And it's like one of those things like where you can probably never unsee this. And it's like they know this because it made you leave them the hell alone. Like, we're, like maybe in the past that like you had a hard time leaving them alone. But this time, whatever you found out, it changed the way that you looked at this person. And... It's like this person doesn't know if they'll ever be able to like change to change their perception, the perception that you have of them. But this is their own fault. Give me a few more. Like it made you actually lose interest in them because you don't see them. Yeah. It's kind of like draking. Draking and we have ratchet. Yeah. Relationship struggles are ended. Missing someone emotional, lonely, depressed, sad person. But they did this to themselves. If they're depressed that things are over between the two of you. They did this. They behaved stupid. They were reckless and they were stupid. Yeah, they should have thought about that. Be yeah, it's like they were breadcrumbing you, purposely being noncommittal, purposely playing games, keeping their options open, not really putting any effort into you. They weren't being honest. They weren't showing you their true self. And honestly, guys, this is not even like in this person's like they were like doing it to him. Like, it's not who they truly are. Whatever they did to you that was super inconsiderate is kind of like off. It's off character for them, but they did it to try to like appease the, some type of pe friends or people around them. And yeah, it says what they're saying is not true. Becoming someone you're not lies, bullshit, faking. Yeah. Yeah. Cause this card literally says feeling like it's hard to fit in. It's like literally somebody did something to fit in, which is extremely childlike. 
like everybody around them is like this and they like caved and did something to just feel like they belonged in like a friend group or like a family or something like that and uh, <laughs> i'm trying to think feeling judged yeah express your sex shaming what is slut shaming here for trash and humble brag don't be so obvious right between the lines self-promoting disguised brag what about humble brag extra and digital detox high key that what somebody like feels like you're they don't they feel like they're way beneath you yeah somebody feels like they're way beneath you <sighs> finesse i don't like this y'all okay Okay.